Hi, my name is Clint Petrozelka, and I'm the player manager for the Dallas Fuel. Uh, I guess you could consider me a jack of all trades. I handle anything from logistics to moving to uh, helping in scrims with recording VODs. Yeah, so I'm basically the dad. That's my job at the end of the day is to teach them how to do things, not do things for them. How I got into esports was um, kind of an accident. Like I grew up playing like in high school, I played Call of Duty, Mario Kart 2. I always had fun with it. And then I went to college and I actually met uh, Matt or Tasmo as everyone else knows him. And he actually got me into more video games. Like since I met Matt, I've fell in love with gaming and the culture and we started going to MLG events. So just to give an example of what me and Tasmo did, we just got talking, we're like, all right, we're, we're gonna save some money. And we traveled here to Dallas, got a hotel, and we came here for an MLG Dallas event. We met Tommy, uh, Mike, Hastro, uh, Hex, Diesel. Like we met these guys, we just hung out with them. Um, like we just listened and we learned so much. Like be super active. Like I know it's super hard financially to like, push the money or convince your parents or do those kinds of things to like buy a plane ticket and go to Anaheim or go to an E3 or an MLG event or whatever. But if you put in the time and effort, you can definitely save the money and going because what you learn at that event by socializing with people is like priceless. It's absolutely priceless. If you're trying to get into the industry, like there's two ways, obviously you can get it. Join something that's already existing or create something. I suggest creating something because it's gonna provide you with so many obstacles along the way. Like it's gonna develop your problem solving skills so much more than just like joining something that it's already been done. So you don't really learn as much, but it's definitely the harder route. That's when I actually created a website back in the day, it was called e-sniping. It was like competitive sniping in Call of Duty back in like Black Ops and Mono for 2 and stuff like that. So we actually didn't realize that at the time, but we learned a lot through all that. The one thing I learned the most about us doing that is probably you can't control everything. So many things are out of your control and it's okay. It lasted about six, seven months. Um, it was fun. We had fun doing it. We put money into it, but I would say it was the most valuable experience I've gained throughout the whole, my whole esports career. Probably the next big step after that is uh, marketing yourself, right? So like come up with a resume, like as boring and as normal as it is, come up with a resume, a real resume, get out there. Like you have to stream, you have to come out with YouTube content. You have to do something of value. And with COVID, unfortunately, it has to be digitally. I would probably suggest a podcast and just talk, man. Like talk about what you would do. Talk about what other teams where you think they're making mistakes. And like people will notice your, your, your personality, how you handle things as, as you create your content. Like one, one of the key characteristics of being a manager is patience. Like I grew up and Every day my dad would tell me patience is a virtue. Every time I'd get impatient, he'd always tell me patience is a virtue. And in this industry, it's very, very easy to lose your patience. And it's very easy for someone else to test your patience. But the more patient you are, the more you learn, the more you're able to correctly problem solve, the more you're able to handle those kinds of things. Um, I think the important thing is learning different areas like learning different parts of people's jobs, like learning how a coach operates, learning how upper management works, learning how content is made, learn how social media works, learning basically anything and everything that involves esports will bring in together how you become a manager. So yeah, those are the tips I would suggest for people trying to be a manager in the esports industry. So check back in with us for some more esports career 